Hello, and welcome to Alex's Reviews. Those of you who are new to this, I'm Alex, and today I'll be talking about the book, The Walking Dead, Compendium 1, written and created by Robert Kirkman. This story is very interesting. I like this book. It has to do with the zombies, surviving, murder, people going crazy. So fun. I love this book. I read it probably a little bit less than 24 hours. If people didn't stop me, there weren't interruptions and I have school to go to. Anyway, so this book opens up in the beginning with a man named Rick Grimes. He's a police officer and his friend Shane. They're hiding behind a car. This guy's shooting at them. And Rick decides he's going to try and go around through his ditch and try to circle around and tells Shane to cover him. Shane lifts up. Rick starts running. Shane gets a gunshot out of his hand by the guy who they're trying to arrest. And Rick gets shot in the shoulder ends up in a coma. While, a little while later, wakes up, the world's a mess. There's zombies everywhere, no one's in the hospital, can't find anyone living, sees all these things attacking him, <coughs> tries to walk to his house, and when he gets to it, around his neighborhood, he starts calling out for people. He was looking for his son, Carl, his wife, Lori, and he gets hit in the back of the head by a shovel. When he wakes up, he's in a bed, He's in his bandages, and he goes, and he meets two people who are living in his neighbor's house. Their names are Morgan and Dwayne. Dwayne's Morgan's son. Dwayne is the one that hit him in the back of the head with a shovel. So Rick starts explaining what happened to him over dinner, and Morgan starts telling him about what's going on in his life and how things are going. So, and he wonders, where could his family be? Did they die? And then Morgan says... They told everyone to evacuate to Atlanta, that they had a safe place there in the big city um, for people to evacuate to, but Morgan doesn't know how that went because he didn't go. They decided to stay there and be easier for them to just live in the little residential area and try to survive from there. So Rick takes them to the police station where he worked, gathers up car, two cars and gets some ammo and some stuff to live with. And then he sets off to go find his wife and son while Morgan and Dwayne go back to the house to survive there. They part ways, try to see if they'd see each other later on in life. Um, so, Rick gets to Atlanta and then there he's ambushed off his, he started off on the car, the car lost gas, and then he gets ambushed on a horse that he got from a farm, people who died. And he gets there, they knock over his horse, they start attacking him, and then a guy named Glenn calls out for him from one of the alleyways and told him to run towards him. They start going over rooftops, start going down, and they run towards the woods, where there's this camp set up for a few survivors who didn't die in Atlanta. They either didn't get into the city, they just barely made it out, or they didn't make it to the city before it got destroyed. And they're living there, trying to survive, and the person basically running it is Shane, his best friend, and there are people living there, Lori and Carl. After that, a whole lot of things start going right and wrong. They're reunited with their families, starting to talk again, but a lot of stuff starts going wrong. People start getting murdered, people start going crazy, killing each other, people get killed by the zombies. It's just a whole lot of stuff goes through where they have to try and find a nice stable home, they have to try and find supplies, food. People get hurt, sick, and they try to keep them alive as much as they can, but it gets a little hard. This book is amazing, like I said. If you like zombies, a little bit of black and white gore, if you like really cool story things, a little bit of thriller, this book is awesome. It's a little thick, it seems, but I read through it fast. I'm a little bit of a fast reader, but it's set up in a graphic novel form, so some of you who aren't really into just chapter books, no pictures, just really boring, this book could be good for you. It's not as hard as it looks. Some people read slower than others, I don't know, but it's a good book, really entertaining. You'll like reading it if you like zombies and all things I describe. So, thank you for watching this video. Remember, the book is The Walking Dead, Compendium 1, by Robert Kirkman, who created and wrote this book. Thank you. Subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. If you know people that might like this book, show them the video, or just tell them about the book yourself. Seem like you know all about the book. Um, if there's any ways I can improve the video, uh, send me a message, comment, whatever. Thank you for watching.